I'd go to Amsterdam and because uh, I was just in love with the city and, you know, and it was something uh, uh, I could do to go smoke all different weed and all, you know, different stuff. So eventually I had this harebrained scheme that I could, uh, uh, you know, ship a whole bunch of weed from Amsterdam back to uh, uh, America. And it was like a ridiculous idea because, um, because I had a friend who had diplomatic immunity, but he, uh, his father was uh, 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 worked for the Syrian government. I didn't even realize that this that this that wasn't the good kind of, of diplomatic immunity to have, right? Like we, I didn't know anything about geopolitics, but I was like, my friend has diplomatic immunity, and he's getting, you know, we're going to send this to him. So, so I sent him a package from Amsterdam, and it was actually weed that Adam Dunn had grown. Um, it was the uh, the five way sativa silver pearl which was uh, really nice stuff. So Silver Pearl has such a crazy nose. Very unique. Yeah. So when I went back to New York with that, um, I saw the weasel shortly thereafter uh, in Sheep's Meadow in Central Park. And I, I showed it to him and he was so impressed with it that within two days, he caught a flight to Amsterdam and, uh, and took his first trip there. And when he came back, he had seeds with him. And those would be the seeds that would eventually potentially uh, father the genetics that that uh, bore the sour. So, uh, so he came back from Amsterdam with uh, NL five, um, Sensi seed super skunk, um, a Hawaiian indica, and I believe an oasis. And, uh, I think those, I think that was it, but so that's then all, then all those types of, um, varieties started coming out of his garden. So, you know, all of a sudden it was, it was just diesel, but now, uh, we're getting all these different things. And now everyone's like, dude, please just grow the diesel. Like, fuck all this other stuff, please. We just want the diesel. You know, if you're a grower, like, you know, like every time you try to show people something different, there's like one particular thing they want from you. And it's like, you can't, you can show them the most, the best thing in the world. They don't care. So we were like that. We were like, no, it's we a concert, that. right? ACDC comes up. You're like, play, you yeah, know, yeah, don't and play the new album. No, yeah, yeah. no. We want to hear the hits again. Yeah. yeah. So he did uh, uh, eventually start growing diesel again. And, uh, but this time when it came out, uh, there were some seeds and, uh, by now these guys who, uh, who I had first introduced to the diesel had, had poached out, uh, the weasel and found him. Cause it was, you know, it was a small scene, you know, so they, they had made con a connection. So now there was three of us splitting all the weed and, um, so those guys were from Albany. So those guys got weed with some seeds in it i got weed i found one seed in it and uh and and so that's kind of like where it all began with like us so next thing you know it's like we the natural progression was that we had to start growing weed immediately because he, he would never like the, the weasel would never give us clones he hated that we had we had found seeds of it and like you know uh, he did nobody wanted it getting out I knew guys like that. Yeah. So we had that. We had the shit. We just had to like figure out how to grow it. And so that's, that's when, um, yeah, that's when we all started growing weed. And, um, it was a blessing though, that seed. It's funny how you see it in different ways. Some people would be upset. There's a seed in my weed. Some people would be like, hold on. There's a career right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a whole future inside yes. of the seed. And I knew that, uh, you know, I knew that just looking at the, at that. So, and so did, and so did the Albany guys. <laughs> So, uh, these two kids from Albany, uh, uh, Mike and V, they planted two seeds and from there they got, uh, what they were calling, uh, diesel one and diesel two. And, um, from, I believe it was diesel one came another seed and that seed, uh, uh, eventually would be called sour so that that's really like the long, the roundabout story it's like mm -hmm. so i bet it was sketchy know. trying to get grow equipment at that time too yeah so it's like the risk is high and then to plant two seeds and just uh it's a lot of you know dice rolling for something 
that you don't even see where it's going, right? It's like they were like, you're a great opportunity. And then for it to become that is crazy. Yeah, no, that's what that's really what inspired us, you know, to uh, to get started because we were just we had so much anxiety about like not being able to get enough diesel that like we would have done anything, you know, we, we would have figured anything out. And so that's really how it all got started. And so, um, and it was the, the, the sour, the, the, I had, I had a seed of, of, from that same round of seeds. And, uh, it was more just like, I just called it the diesel and it wasn't really like the sour. It was more like the chem and, um, and yeah. And eventually that, uh, uh, I, I, had to move out of my house and gave the plants to somebody. And, you know, this, as the story goes, um, they didn't really take care of it the way they should have. And, and so that now my seed was gone. So I moved back to New York, uh, uh, from where, from having a farm in upstate New York in like 1997. And I started growing the cut of sour diesel there in New York. And so, yeah. And so because, I consistently put it out all that time uh, up until like 2012. Um, it became known as uh, they call it I, unbeknownst to me, they started calling it the AJ sour and that's, and that's how it became that. 